I Know You is an exhibition about currencies and um, about collectives. And it somehow started uh, when we were asked by the Emma and Rachel Thomas um, about what could the Städelschule as a microcosm of an educational environment in Frankfurt, what could that contribute to uh, a museum of modern art, to the situation of Ireland being uh, the host of the EU in the first uh, half of the year 2013. And um, we thought actually this tension between a collective and the question what is the currency in culture and in the arts could be a really interesting starting point to think of. And um, because very often the idea of Europe and of the larger collectives in Europe and beyond that are very much reduced to a question of commodities, of economies and of course of currencies. And uh, since Frankfurt is of course uh, almost kind of um, name that stands for all the problems that Europe has in these days, we thought it's an interesting point to somehow flip or change the perspective and to really look into a cultural perspective. And cultural perspective, yeah, in specific in a way, the cultural perspective of artists. And in that relation, the, the Städelschule um, is a really interesting case. It's a school for art and it's it's in Frankfurt and it's in Germany, but it's basically a very European and very international school. Uh, seven, more than 70% of the students are non-German. Um, they're students uh, from more than 40 different countries. And uh, in that sense, it has become a really uh, um, yeah, interesting microcosm in which uh, you could almost look through a lens and see what a community discusses and how a community actually um, tries to find individual positions in a larger framework of a community. So there is a certain tension between what you can define as a collective and what is still in the art world an important parameter is uh, an individual position uh, or what is called a solo career. So what we have here in the, uh, in the show, I Know You, is um, a constellation of very different artists. They all have their individual positions, but there are very interesting relations between them. We were interested in the question, what are the, the modes of exchange and what are the places where these individual positions can come together? So the idea was in a way to take Städelschule as a starting point. We invited 27 artists who are alumni of Städelschule from the mid-90s till uh, the youngest one is Geronimo Foss. Uh, he graduated two years ago and later was also uh, being shown at Documenta. And these uh, 27 artists actually um, were asked to invite other artists or other practitioners in the field of culture. So some of them invited fellow artists even in terms of a collaboration. I'm here standing in front of a work which is very part, very much part of a, of a collaboration between Michael Beutler and Daniel Devar. And others invited um, philosophers, for instance. Bernard Schreiner invited uh, the philosopher Markus Steinweg, uh, who's very much interested in cultural systems uh, and whose work is being shown in one of the lecture halls. And Michaela Meiser invited uh, Louis Rigaret, a French philosopher whose work is very much focused on feminism. So there are very interesting constellations of people who are interested in exchange, who would not necessarily follow an, a sort of ideology. So there's not a one-liner here in that show. This is not the Städelschule stands for a very experimental place, um, it's probably one of the best known schools in the world, but it's not like, let's say, the Bauhaus in the 1920s, a system that had a clear ideology. So we were interested more in this 
sometimes very opaque, sometimes more transparent process of exchange of artists uh, who are actually having very, partly very difficult relations even towards institutional life, towards colleagues, to cliques that are around in the art world. So that's why this title uh, came up, um, because we were thinking what could be the title for this exhibition. And the title, I Know You, is somehow a kind of hybrid between uh, the two verbs. One is knowing and the other one owing. Knowing, it's certainly the idea that these individuals or this uh, cultural collective have a certain knowledge of each other. But um, this knowledge is somehow mixed with uh, very different yeah, approaches to, to somehow um, this idea of owing. Owing referring to an idea of currency, also hinting, of course, to the economy that's, uh, that is apparent in the art world. So this is what we're interested in. Is, is there a life beyond the commodity in the art world? Is there something beyond that, which some people call friendship, others it's about peers or collectives or small communities? This is uh, what is the es essence of this exhibition, um, that uh, we want to somehow also speculate and also insist to a certain extent uh, on the possibility of a cultural collective that works not against the market, but that provides alternatives of exchange uh, in parallel, partly uh, related to the market, but in, an, in a critical position. And this is uh, a certain claim uh, that we, we are trying to make uh, in this exhibition.